Hello everyone, welcome back to Kavita Ravindana's Accounts is Easy and today we are actually dealing with a very, 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 very easy topic which is petty cash book. Yes, after doing cash book, it will be a little bit of a small right? So this is petty cash book which is again a subdivision of journal, okay? So it is to basically you know record all petty expenses meaning small, day to day, recurring, bar bar, one and one expenses, okay? Now, what do you think? In a big organization, the cashier has a lot of load on its head. Okay, cash dealing is very you know risky. There are chances of theft. There are chances of you know uh, embezzlement or job uh, cash counting and all that. It's a lot of headache. So here, the cashier wants to you know have a help. He wants to take care of only the major payments and the regular recurring day-to-day -day expenses. He gives away to a petty cashier. Okay. So cashier is also an employee, petty cashier is also an employee, they are given certain different responsibilities. Alright, clear with here? So now cash book will be prepared by the cashier and the petty cashier will prepare the petty cash book. Now okay? he will take care of the small expenses. So of course he needs to be given certain money, right, to run the show. Now as per your syllabus also, we are going to make petty cash book on the impressed system. And we will make the analytical petty cash book. Okay, it will look something like this. Cash book just like that. Yes, it will have a debit side and a credit side because again, petty cash book serves as petty cash account also. Okay, so we are not making a petty cash account in the ledger. Alright. This from here itself, we will be able to know that the cashier took it, how much did he spend, how much is left with him at the end of the period. All information will come here and in a very systematic manner and it will reduce a lot of burden on the accountant. Okay, so the bookkeeper. Now, impressed system meaning a fixed, you know, sum of money. A fixed sum of money is given to the petty cashier, which is called. That is the cash float. It is also cash called the cash float. Meaning this is a fixed amount which you will get every month. Okay, this is what I am giving to you. You spend out of that. Because bar bar dena nahi hoga. 25 rupees, 30 rupees, 10 rupees, 100 rupees, not like that. So you take once and for all. Okay, suppose it's 500 or 1000 rupees or 2000 rupees. Okay, depending on the size of the organization. Later, cash float is given to him. Now, at the beginning of the period, he will spend throughout the period and at the end of the period whatever is left okay he will you know utilize that in the next period and the next period again other socho you have cash flow of 500 for example okay suppose your cash flow is 500 and you have spent say 490 rupees so 10 rupees balance okay next month or next period you will get how much as the cash flow to make it up up to 500 you already have 10 right so you will get another 490 jitna spend kiya utna wapas milo 500 rupees tumhare paas intact right again to start the new period that is what is called the impressed system impressed amount bol sakte hai cash float bol sakte hai isko right it is a fixed sum of money to start with at the beginning of each period i hope that's clear that's the impressed system Analytical petty cash book matlab, it is just not simple petty cash book will end here meaning amount received kitna mila and payments total payments that's it but analytical payments then petty cash book will have the analysis of payment also meaning whatever you are spending will be put in different columns also so that you get to know kitna kis pe spend hua. usually the accounts that you will find here is postage and stationery recurring okay Conveyance meaning traveling of people, cartage meaning transportation of goods, wages paid to laborers, and other miscellaneous charges in Chota Mata Kabi Kabi Ajata, small little recurring expenses that can be put to miscellaneous expenses. So we not only record the small payment, but we also analyze it so that we have a proper check and control. So petty cash book number one reduces the burden of the cashier, main cashier. It records all the petty cash transactions in a very systematic manner. It helps to put a check on, yes, the cash expenses and regulates the cash flow 
and it helps also to put a check against you know theft of cash and you know embezzlement of cash clear about that so why we need a petty cash book it is for this so now we will take a small sum and we will try to understand how to go about making the petty cash book I hope the format is clear once again. Amount received at the beginning will be put here. This is debit side. Cash book folio hai. Cash book folio again number. You will be receiving the amount from the cash book. Bank ya cash jahan se bhi. So that amount, that number, page number will be putting it here. Date, on which date, what payment is made or the amount is received. Particulars of course, whatever you are receiving, whatever you are paying, you will write that. Total payments, all the amounts paid will be written here. This is the credit side of the cash, very cash book. And then we will put these figures only in the respective columns. Alright? And then we'll see how to total it up and close it. So let us take this sum. So children, let us take this sum, which is very simple. Yes? Okay. I will not say simple. You will tell me at the end of the video that it is simple. Okay. Rather, this is the uh, one of the simplest parts of your syllabus. We name it like Petty Cash Book and we have already seen the various uh, headings that we make in our account in a cash book. So here we are ready and the sum says that on 1st of Feb, if you read the sum, that there was a balance of 150 with the Petty Cash here. So Petty Cash here already has 150 from the previous period, maybe from the month of January, right? So out of whatever he had been given, he could save 150. Therefore, he starts the month of Feb with 150. Balance in hand, so balance brought down. Okay, this is the amount received column. So on this side, because this is not actually received, this is a carry forward from the previous year, figure, uh, month. So as good as received, 150 yaha par dalo, date dalo. 1st of F and we will write here to balance brought down. Alright? Two balance brought down because this is on the debit side of the petty cash book that we are making the entry. Then he was given enough cash to make up for the impressed interest, right? So impressed amount is how much? 1000. Out of that 150 he already has. Therefore, how much more will he get? 850. Where did we get it from? 1000 minus 150. So how much more will he need? Another 850. That is the amount he would have spent last month. So 850 he has got to be written to cash. Now if at all it is given, Petty Cashier receives uh, a payment through check. Okay, Or we have withdrawn from the bank and given to the Petty Cashier. Anything like that, it will be here to bank. Yes, from wherever it is coming. So we have got now 1000 rupees to spend. Now whatever he is spending is written, his purchase on the notebooks, paper, ink etc. So whatever is actually given in the sum, we put it here. Buy, because this is on the payment side, correct? Credit side we will be noting this. So buy notebooks, paper and ink. The total amount I have written here. First thing, all payments should be written here so that we have quickly in hand Kitna karch hua hai, we have quickly, you know, uh, you can see from this column. After that, the analysis, right, that comes later. So 25 I put here, and which is the appropriate column here, postage and stationery. Yes, this is stationery, notebooks, journals, books, uh, paper, pencil, etc. All these are stationery items. So I put it in stationery. So two places the amount will come one. All will come here in total payment and then in the respective columns. Then our fifth, wages were paid. So wages we already have. Wages is a regular thing we pay you know, on a day-to-day -day basis. So wages is usually a recurring expense. So 150 here, 150 under wages. Sixth, we have paid for office cleaning. Office cleaning can, you know, we do not have a special account for it because it's once in a while kind of those, you know, those expenditures which do not have a recurring kind of nature. So for them we have a miscellaneous account, miscellaneous column meaning baja kucha, mixture, okay. Bus fare, bus fare again, it is uh, paid for a person to travel. When it is paid for people, it is called traveling and conveyance. Yes, so we have put it, this 20 rupees in the under conveyance. And when you pay transportation charges for goods or you know, things that you are buying, assets, in that case, 
you are going to put it under cartage okay when you're paying the goods for the goods that will be under cartage you can call it carriage yes so that is there rail freight rail freight is 250 and it is put under cartage because this freight freight meaning for goods so it, it is not for traveling of people if traveling of people ke liye conveyance mein aayega okay keep these two things very clear repair of cycle again miscellaneous so 30 here and 30 in the miscellaneous one that's how you just keep take one amount and find the appropriate one kisi mein bhi nahi fit ho raha miscellaneous mein dal right courier charges courier charges postage postage right labor payment again wages so labor payments bolo chahe wages bolo is to come under wages stamps and envelopes stamps and envelopes Obviously, you're buying something for postage. Postage man, not stationary. Postage. Salesman is traveling. Okay, salesman is traveling to sell goods. So it's a conveyance fee that we are paying. Yes, for the tra traveling of a salesman, it comes under conveyance forty rupees. So each item has come here as well as in the analysis column. Please see that you have put it in the correct analysis column because there will be quite a few analysis columns. Now, after we have done all the entries, we need to close the pending cash flow. Just a journal close, ledger close that they have. I say that just like the balancing of a ledger account. Let us see here what is the total of payment. First thing we will do of totaling of all the columns here. Total column. This all of will add, add up uh, is adding up to nine hundred twenty five rupees. Or in the individual total is this. All right. Now quickly you can cross check this. All this total should be equal to the total of all these columns. Isn't it? This is what we have put here. So koi chief kabhi galti se mess ho jata hai. So you do not want to you know, lose marks for silly mistakes like this. So ye ho gaya total of expenses. If this is the amount he has spent, the petty cashier, how much is the amount left with him? He started with 1000 rupees, 925 spent, 75 rupees. Or milna chahiye, uh, uh, sorry, hona chahiye. So this will be like balance carry down. This is what is the amount left with him. Is that here? Okay. So 75 rupees is left with him. Total of this and this is comes to 1000. This is how we close. This is the totaling. Ledger mein sa closing karte. Here also it is 1000. So 1000 and 1000 on the same line please. Okay. We are closing the petty cash account here. This balance will be brought down on 1st of March. How much? 75 rupees in the amount received column. Two balance brought down. This is starting here. This is the next month starting. You have to show this also. And again, because this is the interest system, he will get how much? Whatever he has spent here. 925 spent. So he will get to cash 925 on the same day. That is the beginning of the period. Alright? So this is as simple as it can be. Petty cash book. Clear about this. Ab yahan se ledger posting bhi samajho. How do you post it from uh, the petty cash book to the ledger? Here, this will go to posted and stationary account. See how? Teen bar entry nahi karenge. Ek hi bar 750 dalen. Right? And you will write there what? To petty cash account. Isn't it? This is the petty cash. So you will write there in posted and stationary account. See how it will go. This is the postage and stationery account, suppose. Okay. On the debit side, you will write 170 and you will write here to petty cash. posting. Hmm. Same thing, this will go to conveyance, cartage wages, and miscellaneous expenditure account. Simple. Then these are the balances here. Of course, it's miss which post link on that. Of course, this. This cash that I am getting will be recorded in the cash book. And that is why we have the cash book for your column. Kaun se page number pe ye wala entry milega of the cash book. That will be written here. Right? So, this will be all obviously shown in the cash book also. Okay? So, this is very cash book. I hope you found it very simple. Practice just two, three sounds and it will be done, children. Alright? So, do not... Uh, Take too much time to complete this chapter. See you soon. Bye-bye.